This is BMC Pro Cycling's up and coming American rider, Joey Roscoff's BMC Team Machine SLR01. It is the lighter climbing, slightly less aerodynamic road race model that is available to the BMC team riders. But something about the simplicity, like just the look of it that I really like. We're actually lucky enough to get our hands on Roscoff's number one race bike. There's a number one on the seat tube and it has his race number on for the Giro d'Italia where he's gonna be number 38. BMC are a physique sponsored team, which means that riders like Roscoff can choose from a huge range of saddles. Roscoff goes for the Aliante VSX saddle, which has a large channel running down the middle, which presumably he decides helps him a bit with comfort over the course of a 200 plus kilometer road stage. That saddle sits on a BMC seat post that's made to fit the Time Machine SLR01 frame set. Moving forward from the saddle, Roscoff's bar and stem are both supplied by 3T, and Roscoff is clearly quite a tall rider, so he's got a lot of seat posts sticking out. He's got a huge stem on, that's a 140, so pretty much the longest that most manufacturers will make, although some do stretch to a 150 or 15 centimeter stem, which is just unbelievably long. The bars are carbon fiber and they're wrapped with 3T bar tape. Shifting is taken care of by Dura-Ace DI2 and Roscoff, yet yeah, Roscoff is not running any extra sprint shifters or shifters up at the top, so only gear changes here. They're actually pretty well worn, just looking at them closely clearly very well used component. Those shifters of course control Dura-Ace DI2 mechs, so we've got DI2 front mech with no chain catcher in sight and the rear mech. The chain set is a Shimano Dura-Ace chain set with an SRM and those cranks are 175 millimeters long. Chain rings are 5339. Pedals, they're Dura-Ace 2. And moving backwards to the cassette which is turned by a Dura-Ace chain, that is an 11 through to 28, so pretty much standard on any road bike. The wheels, they're also Shimano and they're also Dura-Ace. They're the Dura-Ace C50 tubular wheels, so a great all-round choice. On the wheels, we've got Continental Competition ALX 25mm Pro Limited tubulars. So again, you can't exactly go out and buy those in the store. As you may have guessed from the rest of the bike, the brakes are, of course, Shimano Dura-Ace. Just looking at a couple of the finishing touches that are on this bike, we've got the SRM Power Control 8 head unit up here. and. Just at the front of the bike, the BMC mechanics here have used, I think those are knock-on or alligator aluminium cables. So that's a modular outer cable system. Just allows slightly greater flexibility. So it can make this tight angle here into the frame. And they've actually heat shrink wrapped the Dura-Ace DI2 wire to that. Now it's time for some vital statistics. The bike weighs in at 7.330 kilograms. So shade over half a kilo over the UCI's minimum weight limit, but they can lose some weight from the wheels. So yeah, could get it down to 6.8 kilos-ish. The reach is about 60 centimeters and Roscoff's saddle height is about 78 centimeters. There we have it, BMC's slightly lighter, slightly less aero road race frame that the guys are gonna to turn to on the hillier stages at races like the Giro d'Italia. If you'd like to see all of our videos from the 2016 Giro, just click right there. To check out our pro bike playlist, click down there. And to subscribe to GCN, click here.